Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, I'm the man on the you sticks. You have the stick. And we're playing the Madden 20, the San Francisco Four to Nine of Nights. Four to Nine of Nights. As always, we're playing on only. We're simming the D. And uh, we are playing on, what are you playing on, pro? Yeah, I'm playing pro mode. pro difficulty. Yeah, dude, it's cool. He's he's new. The third hardest difficulty in the game. The second. Third hardest. Why? I said the third it's hardest. Isn't there two more? Oh, haha, ha, I got you what you did there. Yeah. Jerk. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, Joe, if you were listening to my jokes, man, you'd be like, oh, man. Oh, uh, dude, that was a great joke. He's got a fuck freaking mastermind down. Wow, that was in the first minute. Yeah, Great. well. Great, we're demonetized now. Oh, yep. I like those pants. Yo, I do. <laughs> so Why was, can't you wear the black pants all the yo, time? Yo, I want to wear those pants. It looks like the uniforms don't fit, though, because it's like, like white and then black and red on the bottom. Yeah, it's weird. I like those uniforms, too, for what it's worth. Yeah, yeah, I like those ones, too. Like the like the gold and, or like uh, yellow and blue. Right. I don't know, that's weird. Running low on time here. Yeah, man, we're gonna you're going to win now. Oh, what happened there? No, well, apparently I got sizzacked. Yeah, you got sacked, dude. It's cool. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Celebrate number 99. I'm going to go punch your daughter in the face. Holy <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, he got on my nerves and celebrating and stuff. Yeah, I'm dude, dude. I'm sure, he was, I'm sure he did that on purpose, too, because he wanted to showboat into you. Exactly. You don't see me celebrating. When was the last time he built a snowman? Oh, uh, wow. That would definitely be an Ash Ash Beulah thing. So yeah, I think that was the last time I built one, We're too. talking about that far back. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, I mean, I haven't lived anywhere where there's been snow in a while. I didn't build one in Cleveland. Yeah, so, um, yeah, probably then. But I never, like, completely built a snowman, like, to completion. I would always get, like, two rungs up and be like, all right, that's enough it, of this. Well, it's hard to lift that third one up on top, dude. That's That rolled snow is heavy. Especially if you, like, went big. You're like, oh, I'm going to make this bottom one. It's going to be, like, as big as, like, as everything. And then the second one, you're like, we barely got that one up. And the third one, you're like, well, he has a little tiny head. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking, like, I don't think I've, like, played in the snow. Like in years, dude. There. Yeah, I can't tell you. I made when I was in high school. Mm. One time, I at the end of my driveway, I like, I like uh, packed down all this snow into like it was like a, uh, I don't know, maybe like eighteen inches wide, yeah, thirty inches tall, and maybe like eight, eighteen, twelve inches deep. Mm -hmm. And I packed it down, and I took a shovel, and I made it into a square. Like a rectangle, I guess. And then I took, a, I took like, utensils, and I carved, like, this troll out of this snow. You carved a troll into the snow? It was kind of like a troll goblin-looking thing. It looked really awesome, right? And this was in, like, the, and this was in the 90s. Mm -hmm. So, like, there wasn't cell phone cameras. So I got done with it. And I was like, I need to go buy a roll of film so I can take a picture of this. It's actually like I was actually like impressed. Right? A roll of film. So so I went inside, started screwing around, came outside, it started pouring rain and it like it melted my statue my ice sculpture, Aww. my snow sculpture before I ever got to take a picture of it. Were you sad, dude? I was a little sad, dude, because like you, you know how weather works, dude. It's like cold exactly. enough to snow and then it starts raining. It's like, aw. And then it was just like he was like a melted little baby boy troll. <laughs> <laughs> the things that entertain people in the north, man. I Dude, swear. we got we don't have a lot, so we got to roll with what we have, you we know. We don't have much, but we know we love yeah, you. Dude. What, uh, what was the last time you were in a snowball fight? Oh wow, Jonas! I don't know. I got out of snowball fights because I get mad. So that's how you take out your aggression? Like, you're, you're mad at your girlfriend, you walk out to the car, you just hit her in the face with a snowball? No, I mean, I get mad because, like, snowballs hurt and stuff, and I don't... Oh, when you're... Oh, Kittle running down the sideline. And, like, like I get mad. Bolt. I get mad when uh, I get hit in, like, the ear or something, because that ish hurts, man. Dude, you know what the worst thing is? Is when it's cold out and someone comes and slaps you on the back. <laughs> or they slap you in the ear or flick your ear or something, dude. Oh, my God, I want to just take their face. No, nah, you know what? <laughs> In the black community, them them's grounds for a fight. Oh yeah, dude. 
that's grounds for a fight. Yeah. You slapped me in the back, fam. Oh, we oh yeah, it down, yeah. Man. I mean, you opened the door to the fight by <laughs> slapping like just me. Running up and slapping someone on the back when it's cold. Exactly. You can't just be doing that. I feel you, man. I feel, that makes sense. Yeah. So, no, man. I've never been slapped in the back as a joke, or I haven't had my nuts hit back of somebody's hand as a joke. That's some white folk stuff, dude. It's a little bit. Why do we do that? I've never been I hate pantsed. It, dude. You ever been to Thailand, Bangkok? Oh, dude, mm, I've never been pantsed either. I would, I would. What the heck happened? Oh, I quarter, would definitely be pissed if somebody pantsed me. Dude. Right? Oh my God! Like them's grounds for a fight. Like in a hundred percent, Jonas. Like I've been big on the kick of like one man's two may be another man's ten. Yeah, yeah, it's very true. Yeah. And so like, yeah, some people might be like, oh, you pull my pants down. I'm embarrassed now. Oh, come on. Like that's like turn around, punch him in the face, then pull your pants up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that they can see my meat is <laughs> the last thing they see before they go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> then you just rest your meat on their cheek while they're sleeping. Jones, I keep picking the same two plays, well, man. Well, I, I mean, you gotta mix it up a little bit, friend. I'm trying, man, but it's hard. Get into a different. See, it's hard to ban and play, right? It was just hard when when I gotta do it. It's not hard yeah. when you do it. Well, yeah, it's not hard for you <laughs> when I gotta do it. I get it. Yeah, dude, I got you. Don't worry. <laughs> well, if, I, I don't know if I'd had as much. Like, I, if I was, if this was Overwatch, I'd be like, oh, let's go. Yeah, dude. oh, well, I mean, well, dude, that's kind of like what it is for me. Like, I've been playing this game for so long that it's like I can autopilot. Flag on the play. I can just autopilot it and still, like, be effective and change and strategize and yeah, I'm whatever. Try. I'm definitely trying. Well, no, I got you. Yeah, I mean, I get it. It's not, there's a lot to this game. I make it look easy, but there is a lot to it. Like, it's just someone who's comfortable with it. It's like, yeah, like playing Overwatch. If I was trying to play Overwatch and Bant with you, like, I wouldn't be able to keep focus. Yeah, there's too many buttons. Man. Right, yeah, exactly. And it's like it's like there's a lot Get to it. Get it, boy. But you know, with this, I can just like I can just hang out and not. Oh, don't worry, <laughs> got <Gato>, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> oh, he even walks away, Terminator style. Oh, dude, he's good. That's George Kittle. Yeah, um, not a big fan of snow, Jonas. Um, when I was a kid, I used to love snow. I've been sledding and stuff. Yeah, dude. When I was young, I did too. I think it's just a kid thing. I remember when I used to, when I first got into working out, Jonas. Yeah. Uh, I would go to the Metro Parks in in Cleveland. Okay. And I would throw snowballs at little kids and make it hurt. No, Jonas, oh, okay. I would never do such a thing. That's me. But I would. Uh, oh oh my God. God dang! He dude. got lit up. You have six seconds left. You're gonna want to throw a hail mary. Uh, yeah, you're not even wrong. Uh. Am I under him, Mary? I am. We're going for the big boy, too. Um, but I used to run up and down stairs. And oh, okay. I, I would do, like, sets of, like, I would, like, run up and down the stairs, like, uh, so many times. And then I would, he caught that. He deflected it. Yeah. So. You run up and down the steps so many times? Yeah, I would just run up up the steps. Like, I would do ten times in a row until I got tired. Just basically, like, cardio, but yeah, just yeah, using yeah, steps. Yeah. Well, yeah, and steps are hard, man. Yeah, so it's, steps are not easy. So it's outside. And even like in the dead of winter, I'd be running up these icy steps, Jonas. <laughs> and people would like come by with their dogs and stuff, and they like watch me for a little while until I got done with my set because I became like a like a just a known person around the Metro Park. Over oh, here comes that guy running up the steps again. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 yeah. And like I remember, <laughs> I remember one time somebody was trying to come down the steps. Now I gotten pretty uh pretty adept to coming down the steps. Right, yeah, going down's a lot easier yeah, than going e up. Even in the snow because I'll run up and down. Right. But uh I remember one time there was this elderly gentleman and he was coming down the steps and I saw and I was like just like taking a break between my sets or whatever, like listening to music. It was cold as hell, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just like in a t shirt and I see him just like take a L, Jonas. He like falls oh, so I like go over and I'm helping him and I'm walking him down the steps and he's like slipping his stuff and I don't know, I'm not I'm wearing like uh, new balances at the time, right, right, so it's right. not like I was like he built for cleats. the weather. I wasn't built for the weather, but I just remember seeing him fall, and I ended up Aww. helping him all the way back to his car, Jonas. Oh, look at you, Samaritan! It, it was up, dude. <laughs> he needed it, man. He would have never made it home. Oh, poor guy. <laughs> he wouldn't, have. dude. I help people all the time if they need help. Like the other day, I asked this lady if she needed help getting two liters down in the store because she was struggling. Did well, she? you need help with that? And normally they say no the first time, and then when they keep trying, they're like, you know what? 
You know what? As a matter of fact, yes, help me. I've done that. So people on the top shelf, they like are surprised that you're like, hey, do you want me to help you get that? And they're like, no, I got it. And then they get one and they're like, you know, actually, can you like do more? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, they're like, I don't want to seem weak, but you are taller than me. And you can you can get it pretty easily. I get it. And, you know, that's crazy, Jones, because I'm like, I never offer my help. But if somebody asks me, I will never deny. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm like the offering guy. Like, I'll ask ladies, like, if I see them, like, putting stuff in their car, I'll be like, you need help with that? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I just like helping people. I don't mind helping people. I would never say that I, like, choose it over not helping people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just, I don't know. I, like good. I mean, good, man. I like, think I think that sort of thing makes them feel good, too, because, wow, there's, like, somebody out here who, like, gives a crap that, like, I'm struggling. You know what I mean? Like... Like, it's just something. That, like you said, like, even if you just, like, tell someone, like, oh, hey, man, I like your shirt. Or, hey, hey, you know, that's a pretty dress or whatever. Yeah. And then you just keep walking. That makes somebody feel good, man. Like, I, do, I do like doing that to uh, to women. I do. Yeah. I like, uh, yeah, dude, I've, I've been incorporating that more into my life. And, like, the the absolute joy and look on their face when you say something like that to them. Especially if you say something, just keep walking like you're not trying to hit on them. Like you're just like genuinely like that's a pretty dress or whatever. And they're just they're always just like, well, thank you. Like they're all like surprised. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I it, it mean, it's no secret, Jonas, that women, uh, they eat off a of comment or off a of compliment, man. Even if they say they don't like. Them. Oh, my God. They love it. They love compliments, Jonas. Well, they, I'm sure they try to put stuff together so they look good. You know, like guys just throw stuff on sometimes. I know you put your stuff together. I'm not speaking for all men. <laughs> I know. I don't want to like leave you in the cold. No, bro. it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, man. I, yeah, I guess yeah. Guys probably eat off a compliment, not as much of a feel. Oh, dude, there was one day I went out and I just had on a like a Nirvana shirt, and I had two girls in ten minutes be like, "Oh, I like your shirt." I felt like a billion dollars. Like, and I just had on a T-shirt, dude. I was just running to the dollar store to get like some batteries or something. I was just like. Oh, there you go. Well, awesome. <laughs> that was yeah. Yeah, Jonas, wear that T-shirt. I now I want to wear that T-shirt all the time. <laughs> now right? I want to wear that T-shirt all the time, right, dude. But yeah, like the other day, there was this girl, li like just a girl walking with her little girl. She had to be like two, and I was like, oh, that's a really pretty scarf. And oh my fucking freaking god, I was like, <laughs> she was just like, she was like, thank you so much. Thank <laughs> like, you so much. Like it was like the only person that's ever gave her a compliment. In Nobody the last has six ever months. talked to me before. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I talk to is my daughter. And she doesn't exist. Oh, she's fake. <laughs> I'm not real. <laughs> the psychiatrist says I should stop talking to my daughter who doesn't exist. Yeah. I can see her. You can see her. <laughs> oh, that was a bad pass, man. Yeah, dude, it's cool. I was not paying attention. Yeah, it happens. All right. Joan has lost that quarter by winning. Yeah, you won that quarter, friend. Yeah, so yeah, I do agree, Jonas, that uh, random acts of kindness, a great, uh, a great service to the world. Yeah, dude, I feel it just makes a better place, man. I Who? feel like you're you're expected to though. Who me? Yeah. Why? Because I'm white. Wow, Jonas, is that what you is that what you thought? I don't know. <laughs> That's the only thing I can pull out that sounds like edgy. Well, it is because you're white. Oh, okay. uh, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. Uh, uh, well, I don't know if I should get nice? it. I don't know if I should get into it, man. Is this like a culture thing that I don't know uh, about? I'm very, I'm very like ignorant when it comes to like racism or cultureish bias. Like I don't, like I just don't even think that way. All right, I, so, I guess I got a little bit of a, a hot take. Yeah, then. we got Fine. a short amount of time, so it can right. be a hot take for. All right, quick hot take. Uh. I was watching an interview with. Uh, now I I don't have like a preferred. Oh, horse and Ooh, horse. You're and, losing, by the way. Yeah, I noticed. By one I, point again. Of all. I don't have a a clear set horse in like the uh, the race for like who's gonna win anything, but I was listening to an interview an interview with uh, like Kamala Harris and oh, she, okay. and she said that uh, there is like this inherent ideal of criminality when. Uh, Catch the ball for once. All right, Jonas, we're we're getting pretty low here on the old go, but uh, yeah, I feel yeah, like third and ten. You should do a pass. I am. I'm doing a shorty though. It's a shorty making shorties. Throw it. 
Oh, there you go. Coming through in the clutch. I shouldn't have called that timeout. <laughs> you shouldn't have. <laughs> but it's, I you did. You have two and a half minutes left. I know, dude. Anyway. I panicked. It was a it's panic right. timeout. Anyways, Camilla Harris. So, yeah, she said there's a certain air of criminality when uh, the police see uh, African-American males. In general or helping someone? Yeah, in general. Okay. Like, it's like the difference if, like, I was to walk into a 7-Eleven in a hoodie in the middle of the night and you Boom. were to walk into a 7-Eleven with a hoodie. I got it. with like hood up, arms in the arms in the pockets, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's just by the general biasness of like. Yeah. Race. Okay, I can see that. Well, and it's like the same thing. Like, like if if like I'm walking down the street two o'clock in the morning with a hoodie up, and you are, wh- which one of us are the cops more likely to stop and be like, "Hey, what are you doing?" Oh, dude, I've been pulled over like that. You know what I mean? It's like it's mm-hmm. just like the the bias of of the. Um, you know of everything, so. No! Am I losing now? <laughs> oh my god, dude! No, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Don't put up the pyramid. You were up by five, now you're only up by three. All right, but it's my ball again, right? You have a ball. No, it's their ball, dude. Oh, so they can win here. Oh, no, you stopped them. Oh, That's hallelujah. it. You came through in the clutch. Barely, man. So, yeah. I don't know, Jonas. I, 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 I find... I, I find that it's to my benefit because I don't like talking to anybody. <laughs> anyway, right, right, so. right. Do you remember where this video started? Not at all. Yeah, me neither. So I'm cool with people not wanting to talk to me. But if you do, guess what? You're going to meet a, a nice, fine young gentleman who's going to assist you in any way he can. I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, exactly, Jonas. We yep. got we got to be out there for our people. Well, it's like, it's like you, uh, you're like an Eminem. Because you have like a hard candy shell, but then when you open it up, it's nice and soft inside. <laughs> That's right. I am more like a juju bean. <laughs> I'm just like soft on the outside <laughs> and, Wait, aren't... and soft on the inside. Are those like dots? Yeah, like a dot. Yeah. Oh, Jonas, those things are gross. <laughs> they get stuck in your teeth and they won't leave. <laughs> That's me. I get stuck <laughs> in your life and I won't leave. <laughs> Anyways, but all right, now that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Just check out everything, share it with your, your friends, family, whatever. Spread the word about the crazy town. But for Jonas and TNT Dynamite, we'll catch you on the next one. Uh, we are uh, out.